I'm Garnet, your Squishmallow eggs. And I am going to show you everything I bought at ColossalCon this year, 2023. And I have no plan for what order I'm about to show you these things in. Uh, so, well, besides him, <laughs> we're starting with my big Azul plushie because he he's really, really big. Look at him. That's not really a reason, is it? <laughs> He's so large, he barely even fits. I had to pull out, I had to like pull this out. I had this zoomed in a lot more before I started. He's so cute. So there was a Ville also, but someone bought it before me. And I mean, that's fine because that, that was pretty expensive. So he, he's gonna, he's gonna push him all the way over here. Here's how the badge looked this year, cows. And I, took several cards because there was a lot of really cool shops. I didn't buy things from everyone, but I've been looking at the online stores. So here's, oops, don't club or anything. Everyone's information. Oh, there's nothing on the back of that one. This stuff was so cute. Oh yeah, they had two. This one's for a club thing. This one is actually, I did buy stuff from this one. I remember, actually I bought a lot of stuff from this one. And this one is actually a sticker. I, ha I don't want to ruin it and peel it, but. So pretty. <laughs> was this one I almost passed out standing at? Cause it was, there was a lot of people and I got really lightheaded cause I was standing too long. So I hope I didn't accidentally block any of that with my thumbs. Okay, so before I show you the things that I purposely bought, I had, I'm gonna show you when I opened it, I bought like a lucky bag thing, a mystery bag for Twisted Wonderland. And I'll show you when I first opened it and if some of my movements are weird, I had my friend with me, so, and we were at the hotel. I was showing her everything as I opened it. Try to cut some of that out. And once that's done, I will show you them again. So here is the silver plush and I have a uh, similar, uh, yeah, I have ones of the same there for Ville and Rook that I bought last year. So now I have silver and so this is little envelopes and some stickers as well. And there's a few of those, five of those. And stickers. I need to figure out what to do with stickers I have now. I suddenly have stickers. Because between these and I bought some and my friend actually gave me some stickers when we met up too. So I have stickers now. I have this little bust thing of Colleen. <laughs> a little stand for, of Cater. A little acrylic stand. Not that interested in their gym outfits, but this is cute. And a pin of Jack. Which this was great for me because it forced me to get characters besides the same four characters over and over again, which you will see exactly which four characters. Actually, I, there's two right there. <laughs> the, which characters I am obsessed with. Let's go ahead and show you all the rest of the Twisted Wonderland stuff first, and then I'll show you the few things I got that weren't Twisted Wonderland ever. <laughs> oh, well, actually, first, I guess I'll go ahead and show you one thing that isn't Twisted Wonderland, because this is what I'm keeping those pins and keychains in right now until I've, I want to make something so I can just play my keychains better. Because right now I'm mostly just clipping them on the lanyards and I don't remember my lanyards, I didn't buy any new ones. So I have the Spire Emblem bag. I really like this side. I think her expression's a little weird on this, so. I really like this one, this side, I keep it showing. This isn't in the bag, hold on. I'll show you this, cause it's not in the bag. I have this, Pompeor. It's so cute, I love bows, they're so cute. And here is the same four characters over and over. <laughs> oh my 
my goodness. So Colossal Con has like had like four different like five technically because of different rooms, different places for shopping. So yeah, I I did a lot of shopping. I love Azul and Jamil and Vil and Rook. I'm obsessed with four characters. I love everyone else. Well, I, most everyone else. Oh yeah, these are double-sided. <laughs> I love his tongue. I bought these at two different places. Because I found him first, and I looked and I looked and I looked for the Rook one, and then I found him at a completely different shop. And along with him, along with him, I brought bought these. <laughs> Daedara and Mahito. These are so great. Do I have the packaging still? Here's for the Twisted Wonderland, all the, the Halloween. Well, not all of them, because there was there's more. But here's here's the different Naruto ones. All the boys is like skater boys. Can you see that very well? It's so cute. I had to have this. This was a need. So when I was picking these out, the guy there was very, <laughs> he really wanted to, he really wanted me to buy Leona. Cause there's a, it doesn't, yeah, it's one of the ones not showing on here, but there was one for Leona. And I'm surprised he didn't notice that my friend was actually wearing like Ruggie's jacket. I'm surprised he didn't like realize and get her to by him because I think he could have convinced her. I think he really really could have Actually as he was handing me these he like said their names until he got to Rook and then he said not Leona <laughs> I also got this little oh there's one more thing I oh well <laughs> I also got this little pen because I have a really big one, but it like weighs everything down I can't really have it on anything So now I have a little one a little Kotsky pen, and that reminds me, I was handed, this was at the flea market. I was handed that for free. <laughs> I was dressed as Daedara. That was also at the flea market. I'm trying to remember where I bought, which room I bought everything in. I don't even know. A lot of it would be the dealer's room or artist alley. Yeah, and the, this was in the dealer's room. There was like a whole magical girl area. There's some Twisted Wonderland there too as well, but. And I got, this was so exciting because I, I knew I wanted to buy something Magical Girl there because I was so freaking focused on my Pretty Boy stuff. And I found Amulet Heart and it's egg shaped and man, this thing's reflective. Stop. There was some Do Re Mi stuff there too and some Tokyo Mew Mew. I wish I could find a bigger one of the, the wands for Do Re Mi. There was a little one and not really necessarily the one I want. It was so itty bitty, so I didn't get that. Uh, this is not something I bought when I'm about to show you, but this is what my friend gave me, so I can show you all my stickers. So cute, Sanrio stickers. Would you believe that I went through that whole convention and didn't buy anything Kuromi for myself? Because <laughs> I was complaining about not getting anything Kuromi from any like blind boxes and I'm somewhere where I could just pick out something Kuromi and I could if I saw stuff and I didn't buy anything. There's no Kuromi on the- oh yeah there is. There's. Well I almost did though because I almost got- I wanted the- there was Clown, My Melody, and Kuromi plushies. I wanted those but by that time I already spent a lot of money. So... I didn't get those. There were some other things that I regret not getting too, because there's like a Klonoa keychain and Okami. Okay, so what I got at Toaster Key, I think I might have exaggerated how much stuff I bought. I think it was just because it came up to like so much money. I was just like, man, I bought a lot there, but I didn't buy that much there. I got these Sailor Moon stickers that I have to figure out what to do with now, because I want to do something where, you know, they're not gonna like, have to get thrown away at some point, or, well, not some point, like, soon, you know, or, you know, I don't want to stick them onto something that I won't, like, yeah, have forever. 
Because I was, I was thinking of, like, sticking them to my closet, but I don't want to, like, move at some point and not be able to get them off and having stickiness on there, so. I got, I need to get creative. Do you guys have any ideas for all my stickers, my Sanrio, my Sailor Moon, my Rook? And I also got some keychains for the- I was so torn on which one of these to get. This is the same one. Yeah, that's the same on both sides. I was so torn when buying this because there was also an Ochako one that was strawberry and then there was like um, a Toga one that was orange. There's some others too, but like those th those three and this- those two and this one, those three are what I was like trying so hard to decide between when I was standing there thinking of what I was gonna get. And so like, it was like, do I pick a favorite fruit or do I pick a favorite character? And honestly, I probably, I probably should have went with Toka because that was like a kind of a compromise. But I ended up, I just instinctively grabbed for her when I made my decision. So this is what I have. Cause yeah, I love, I love strawberries and oranges. Apples are good, but I like love, love, love strawberries and oranges. And I like Toka. Toga, to, uh, toga well enough, so I, I do kind of wanna, I, I could, I, I might, I, no, I don't need to spend any more money. No, no, okay. So I got this my family keychain, and yeah, it's it's the same on both. Just switches what sides they're on. It's so cute. And this one's so cool. This is the last thing I have to show you, right? This one's so cool. So it's it's all the evolutions and Eevee, right? Shinies! That's so cool. Isn't that so cool? I love it so much. I love it so much. Some of the Eevee shinies are a little disappointing though. <laughs> They're just the same. Oh yeah, I am so happy that more things are having cute, like the keychain part is cute shapes, but I'm really confused on what makes them decide which characters get them. <laughs> Cause this was the same person selling these. And I saw some Sailor Moon ones where only Jupiter got like a star one. I love these so much. That was like, I think, yeah, the first time I ever saw these sorts of ones were, was um, just last year at Momocon. The very first time I saw them. I'm so happy I'm seeing that more. That makes me really happy. Can you see everything good like that? That'll have to be good enough. <laughs> it's too much. Okay, well, that's all I have to show you. The convention was really fun. I saw, I went to a... Oh, yeah. I want actually. I want to talk. I want to talk more. Cause there was a hilarious. There, oh, there was an in-character cosplay competition, and there was a hilarious Soto Kaiba, and I screamed so loud because they, you know, had you scream for whoever you wanted to win. I screamed so loud. I want. I haven't checked again. I keep on checking to see if anyone's uploaded it because I want to see if I can hear myself. <laughs> I deafened my friend. So yeah, we saw a lot of good panels and stuff like that. It was so fun. Oh, something I almost bought. I've been like trying to budget just buy like character things and things that are like actually from stuff, so I didn't buy it. But there was a like, really cute, you know, those like like tea turtle things, you know, the things that like fold so that they're one way and then the other way. You know what I'm saying? And there was ones that was like octopus bunnies and they are so cute. These, oh, I do want one. They were so cute. They were like fuzzy. That's all for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And tell me if you went to that convention or any other conventions this year. Tell me about those experiences. Yes, do that. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!